is what one man can do to the ULEs in less than half a day. Some call them vigilantes, others criminals. They call themselves the ULEs Blade Runners. Around 100 activists all using any means necessary to disable cameras, taking the fight against the London mayor's clean air policy to the streets. Lee is part of a small group of saboteurs who go out most weeks. Speaking exclusively on camera to GB News, he says Sadiq Khan is targeting the city's most vulnerable. To charge the poorest of people to, 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 to drive around is unacceptable. Uh, Sadiq Khan talks about the fact that nine out of ten of cars are compliant. If nine, ti if nine cars out of ten are compliant, who are the one in ten? The one in ten are the poorest people, the ones who can't afford a compliant car. So they're the ones you're charging. So therefore, it's a tax on the poor. It's that simple. But the Mayor of London disputes that claim. The decision to expand uh, the ultra emission zone to all of London was a difficult one. It wasn't an easy one, but I think it's a vital decision and it's the right one. Let me tell you why. Uh, we now know the evidence in relation to the consequences of air pollution. It leads to around 4,000 premature deaths a year. It leads to children having stunted lungs forever. Adults with a whole host of health issues from asthma to cancer, dementia to heart disease. We also now know that one of the most effective ways to reduce air pollution is with the ULEs. How do we know that? In central London, we've seen a reduction of around 50% of toxicity, mm. uh, nitrogen dioxide. Also, a third fewer children being admitted to hospital with air pollution-related illnesses. The Blade Runners are supported by an online community that maps the location of London's almost 2,700 ULEs cameras. The red pins show working units. The black ones have been disabled. I will normally go around on the groups to see posts or pictures of, of people that have put up with cameras, particularly the new ones if they've just been put up near to where I live. And then, yeah, I will literally make a note of that, jot that down, and then I will arrange a date as to when I will go out and I will deal with that camera on that specific evening. According to the Met, crimes relating to ULEs cameras rocketed by 77% in August. Lee says he's personally disabled more than 60 cameras in the last year. He's developed his own technique, which bypasses TfL's security measures in a matter of seconds. GB News has decided not to show footage of the way the cameras might be disabled to avoid the risk of copycats. It's important to stress, of course, that what you're doing is illegal. Do you consider yourself to be a criminal? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a criminal in any, any way, shape or form. Um, you know... I'm just literally, I'm doing what I believe is right and I'll stand by that and I'll sit on that hill until the time comes when I'm not lo no longer allowed to. Although TfL says the ULEZ expansion will bring health benefits to a further 5 million people living in Greater London, Lee questions that justification, saying this has nothing to do with air pollution. You know, we've seen videos, there's video evidence of people living in houses with black mould, mushrooms growing off the wall. So this notion that 4,000 deaths a year from car pollution is utter nonsense. Other groups would strongly disagree. Leo Murray is Director of Innovation at Possible, the Climate Action Group. Basically, about half of the air pollution, the stuff that's in the air that is uh, dangerous to human health, uh, in, out, out in the environment, not inside our homes, about half of that comes from motor traffic. So, you know, that this is not in dispute. This is extremely well understood science. Meanwhile, Lee is adamant that the Blade Runners will not stop their sabotage. There's enough of us, myself included, where we're not going to give up. We're not going to give up until either all them cameras are gone or TfL and Steve Khan or the next mayor turns around and scraps, us, scraps the idea completely. A Transport for London spokesperson said the ULEZ is vital in tackling the triple challenges of air pollution, the climate emergency and congestion. Vandalism on our network is unacceptable and all incidents are reported to the police for investigation. Criminal damage to ULEZ cameras puts the perpetrators at risk of prosecution and life-changing injuries, while simultaneously risking the safety of the public. The ULEZ is not about making money, and annual net revenue from ULEZ will fall below zero by 2026-27 as compliance increases. Ray Addison, GB News.